Rich and Acquitted says Snoop Dogg's record label used its wealth to help him go free after his murder trial in 1996. For Snoop, it made him a bigger star. It caused him to have this reverence, this respect in the rap world that he didn't have before. That bad boy image had now taken on a new face to it, and that new face was ripe for full exploitation by the music industry. The show says Death Row Records co-founder Shook Knight knew Snoop would make him millions. Suge Knight, Snow Fool. He couldn't afford to have Snoop sitting in a prison doing life. They have some very good lawyers, uh, Don Ray, Johnny Cochran, Dave Kenner, because you have money and, uh, and they protect their client. If Snoop was just somebody on the street, if it was Snoop minus death row, he would have been in jail. The show says that when Suge Knight's money didn't speak loud enough, he used his power to threaten lives. The sheriff called me and said, we've got a little problem. Suge Knight or some of his people are gonna take you out and the DA if the verdict comes in guilty. 